Hello, we'll carry on with more questions on arithmetic. In this question, we have three buses. A, B, and C. <clears throat> so these three buses, they are at um, a bus station. And from this bus station, the bus A, there will be a, a bus A leaving this station every five minutes. And the bus B leaves every six minutes. And the bus C leaves every nine minutes. So that means that they don't all have to leave at the same time. But we are given that at 1300 hours at this time they all happen to leave together at the same time but after that of course then uh, after five minutes you have A leaving and then after six minutes B after six minutes nine so after that they can they will start leaving at different times the question is what is the next time that they will leave together again? So although the next, after 1 p.m., they can start leaving at different times, but it is possible that later on, they will so happen to all leave at the same time again. So how is that possible? Well, they start all start leaving at this time, then, for example, for A, the bus A, B and C, they all leave at the same time. Then after that, after 5 minutes, the next bus for A will leave. Alright, after 10 minutes, there will be another A, 15 minutes, another A and so on. So the, the time after 1pm, when the bus A will leave, is always equal to 5 times some whole numbers. So likewise, after 1 p.m., the time, the time after 1 p.m. that a bus B will leave is always 6 times some whole number, and for C is always 9 times some whole numbers. So the idea is that there can be some numbers that can be different, so that when I multiply those numbers by, by the 5, 6 and 9, I might end up getting the same answer. Alright then, that means that at that time, the three buses will all leave together again. Now this is just the idea of the lowest common multiple. In other words, in this question, we have to find the lowest common multiple of the three numbers 5, 6 and 9. Now there are different ways of finding the lowest common multiple. Um, but one simple way is to think about the prime factors of these numbers. That means that write down each number as a product of prime numbers. So let me write this out here. 5, 6 and 9. Right. So 5 is already a prime number on its own, 6 is 2 times 3, so 2 times 3 are the 2 and 3 are the 2 prime uh, factors, 9 is 3 times 3. So the way to find the lowest common multiple, right, short form LCM, is to pick out um, all the possible prime factors and multiply them together. So that means that I would have a 5, I would have 2 and 3, okay, and I have 2 more of the 3s. Now, but I don't have to include both the three. I just need to include enough 
3 sin 9 to cover the 2. That means that I already have a 3 from before. So I just need to add one more 3 so that part of this would still multiply to give the 9. Right? That's the idea of the LCM. And that's all I need. And if I multiply this, I'll get 10. That's 10 times that's 9. So 19. So the LCM is 19. So that means that at some point after that, okay, there will be a number that times 5 to give 90, a number that times 6 to give 90, and a number that times 6 to give 90. So at 90 minutes, at exactly 90 minutes after 1 p.m., the three buses would just happen to leave together again from the bus station. And this is the smallest possible time you can have because it's the LCM. And if you like, you can work out what these numbers are yourself. But that's not really needed for the question. Right. In the next question, we're going to look at some sums on fractions. So we have a sum here that we must calculate the answer. Right. The way to do it is to draw a long line. And we need to put the two fractions under the same denominator. To get a, the, the, a common denominator, the easiest way is to just multiply the two numbers at the bottom. So 5 times 7 is 35. Right? And in the next step, we must multiply the 3 and the 7. Okay? So that gives 21, and then we must multiply the 5 and the 2, and that gives a 10. And we must subtract this, and the answer is 11 over 35, and that's the answer. Now when I, well that's the quick way to do and write the answer, but I like to think of the reason behind why we can do this because understanding it always helps us to not only to avoid mistakes but to do more difficult sums. So let me write out the steps in full. So this is kind of like a, a shortcut way of doing it which you can present as a working if you are doing a test. but. The full steps, all right, with all the giving you all the reason why you can actually do this, looks like this. 3 over 5 minus 2 over 7. Right, so what actually happens is this. I want each of these under the same denominator. So the denominator here is 5, and I want to multiply the 5 by a 7, and I want to multiply the 7 by a 5, so that the denominators become the same. But, I can't just multiply any number I like to a fraction, to the denominator, because it will become different. So in order that I keep the same fraction, I must really multiply both the top and the bottom by 7. Alright, so 3 over 5, I would do this to the 3 over 5, but 7 over 7 is 1, so the answer is actually the same. Minus, for the 7, I want to multiply by 5. So I must do it to both the bottom and the top, so that it's the same because 5 and the over 5 is still equal to 1. 
So that's what I'm actually doing to each of these, right? So the times I must do first, right? And the minus next. So I do the times first. 5 times 7 is 35. 3 times 7 is 21. That is 35. 2 times 5 is 10. So you see the connection between here and here. So what goes on here is really this. And once I have the same um, denominators, I can combine them because this is base this basically means 21 parts out of 35. And this means 10 parts out of 35 parts. So that means that in both cases we have 35 parts, but we are subtracting the, the 10 parts from the 21 parts. So with this meaning, all right, we can understand why we can put them under the same denominator. Because the denominator tells us the total number of parts, and we are subtracting the 21 and 10. And then we get the answer. So it's important, even when we do all the shortcut methods, to remember what's behind this. Okay, we'll stop here.